Richard Ellis here with columnist Bob Robb, and I guess if we were going to make this a sports analogy, every decade they change the playing field of politics in Arizona with redistricting. The map has been drawn, and Bob, what do you make of the congressional and the legislative districts? Uh, well, I can conventional wisdom uh, about the congressional districts, which is that it um, greatly enhances Republican prospects. Uh, right now, um, Democrats enjoy a 5-4 majority within our congressional delegation. There are five congressional districts presently where Democrats have the registration advantage, even though they uh, have fewer overall uh, voters uh, in Arizona than Republicans. In the new map, uh, Republicans outnumber Democrats in seven of the nine districts. One of them, independents, are actually the plurality, but Democrats and Republicans in that district have uh, more um, registrants uh, than, than Democrats. Um, both uh, Joe Biden and Mark Kelly carried five of the nine districts new districts. Um, so there is a chance for Democrats to retain control, uh, but it's been sharply diminished uh, and uh, the chances of Republicans in, on the congressional map has been greatly enhanced. Although you do point out on the column that it does depend a bit on what flavor of Republican is running in those Right. Yes, both both Joe Biden and Mark Kelly carried five of the nine new districts um, running against Trump himself uh, and uh, against Martha McSally, who was deemed to have been uh, too close to Trump. Um, so it, it, it's not an impossible task for Democrats to retain their current position, uh, but it's a sharp uphill climb and they need a lot of help. Um, from Republicans in terms of the kind of candidates, the Republicans field. And the state house, the state, uh, the state legislature, both the House and the Senate, uh, how do you see that breaking down? Well, here I do depart from conventional uh, wisdom, which believes that there was a uh, slight uh, improvement in Republican prospects under the map. In reality, if you look at the top line numbers, there's not a lot of difference. Republicans had uh, an advantage, a uh, registration advantage in 17 of the 30 districts under the old map. They have that under the new map. But the old map, uh, Trump, uh, or excuse me, uh, Joe Biden won 15 of the 30. Mark Kelly won 16 of the 30. The same would be true with the new districts. What is different in my view uh, is that in the old map, there are only two legislative districts where uh, the difference between Biden and uh, Trump and uh, Kelly and uh, McSally uh, was less than 5%. Um, in the new map, uh, there are actually six districts, legislative districts, in which the margin between Kelly and McSally was less than 5%. Uh, Democrats... Kelly won half of those, McSally won half of those. So to me, as the Democrats are looking at how do they cobble together a majority, they actually have more districts under the new map in which they can be credibly competitive. And so I think it represents a slight improvement in the chances of Democrats to take control of one or both chambers of the Arizona legislature. And the map obviously goes into effect now, uh, right? It's already been approved, correct? The, the, the it, it has been approved and sent to the Secretary of State. There may be some legal challenges, particularly to the congressional map. Um, but at present, uh, it is the law in Arizona and uh, what um, our ambitious politicians will have to run under uh, this upcoming election. Right, they'll have to start filing uh, or change of address forms or <laughs> strategy changes. And, and it'll always be interesting to see what, what candidates end up buying against each other now that, uh, now that the maps are drawn. A great analysis as always, Bob. Thank you.